front of me. And I'm Abby. This little guy over here is Popeye, and we are the RC Sailor. She's hungry. He's eating all of his, his food. His food is down there. <laughs> munch, 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 munch. <laughs> and uh, it's another cold, wet, rainy day outside. And extremely windy. Yeah, I mean, we're dealing with winds like I could step outside and I could fly away. Yeah, earlier when I let Popeye out the back door, it like pushed the door open. Oh, it was pretty man. scary. <laughs> Well, so because of that, we're gonna fly another little indoor quad today, mm -hmm. uh, but this is a really good one. And we've been waiting for bad weather to show this to you. So it's really cool. It's got folding arms, just like the big, you know, DJI Mavic that everybody likes. Yes, this is the FQ11 Mini made by FQ777. If you wanna check it out for yourself, we'll have it linked below in the description mm -hmm. box. This is actually under $50, which is, amazing to have folding arms that's really cool isn't it yeah now let's show them what comes in the box this is a wi-fi fpv quadcopter yeah. so you will have to scan really the cool. qr code on the side of the box to download the correct app don't throw your box away just yet it's also um i want to point out it's a pretty nice box it's got the little folding mm -hmm. lid you can keep all your stuff inside but you don't need that because this is like a pocket drum she's you right. Go right in your pocket that's right I do so like the box though. The quad itself fits inside the transmitter and you have two charging options. You yeah. can charge using your double A, double A? Triple A's. Using Four your triple, triple A's. AAA batteries that go in the transmitter, or you can use the USB to the drum. And it's actually so, a pretty two long options. let me show them how long this cable is because I like having the longer cable. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty long. Yeah. I like that. And I really like having the two options Me because too. if you're at home, mm -hmm. you can charge at your computer or your wall outlet, yeah. you know, with the USB plug. But if you're on the go and you want to just keep on flying. Yeah, at the field or whatever. <laughs> keep on flying. Keep on flying. Air <laughs> <laughs> if you want to just keep going, then you can charge it straight from the transmitter and just fly until these triple A batteries die. Right. So maybe get some rechargeable ones for this. Not, a bad, not a bad, not a bad idea. It does come with its own little uh, screwdriver. Phillips head. You do need this to take the screws off the back of the transmitter to put the batteries in. You also, Abby, you get this. It's nice. I mean, they've. This is a little above and beyond most quads in this in this price point. You have a prop removing tool. Always like those. Four spare that's props. That's a prop shoehorn, Nathan. That's a prop shoehorn. That's right. <clears throat> Take off my. Put my shoes on here with the prop the removing Most of tool. our viewers don't know what a shoehorn is. It's okay. We've got a really nice phone holder. Oh. Oops, I needed to. You just stripped it. I probably did. Don't do that. Right. So let's see if it'll hold your phone. Let's get it out real oh. fast. This is a 6S oh. Plus in an OtterBox. I got a new OtterBox case, guys. It looks kind of manly. <laughs> Oops. Let's see here. Okay, let's see if it'll fit. It fits. Yes, it does. Wow. Very nicely, too. Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm surprised. So the cool thing about this quad is that wow. you can store it in your pocket. And the other cool thing is that it has folding arms, which Nate already told you about. But here it is, right here. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Really neat. And then it becomes like way bigger. You yeah. got the camera yeah. in the front. There's the charging port on the side. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just nice. It's a nice setup. Let's get this in the air. That's really cool. All right. All right, a couple really cool things that I want to show you that I just realized about this quad. Uh, the bottom of the quad has little gummy feet on it, and it just sits on table surfaces very nicely. I like that a lot. And then I didn't show you this, uh, but I'm going to now. This phone holder optionally clicks on here very nicely. You can just pop it right on. And if you don't want to fly FPV and save some battery and everything, you can just push the little button and wiggle that off, and it comes right off. Ah. I really like this setup. I hope it flies okay because for for what you're paying for, there's a lot of bang for your buck here. So let's go ahead and get the phone connected to this. We want to do quad on first, unfortunately. So we'll do our quad on first. We've got red lights in the front, blue in the back. Then we'll turn our transmitter on. And you on a throttle up and down. And now we have power. Okay. Now you gotta go to settings in the app, Wi-Fi. Okay. And then it. it says Is like it? Wi-Fi UFO. I see it. See. Open, and then you're gonna hit play. Play. And then record and everything. I'm sure you can do straight from there too. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit. I see you. Uh, it's really good. There's Popeye. We're recording. Yeah. This looks really good. I actually like this. Um, I'm sure you guys can't see it from there, but it looks good on the phone. I'm really surprised. <laughs> it helps when you have a cute dog posing. And, and, and the cool thing is, now this is a really nice thing. Uh, if you look at that image quality, we've got the really bright outside there. And I know you can't see this right now, Abby, 
but Popeye and you are both very visible. Even though I can't see outside, that's actually really nice. Okay, so I've, I've got everything turned on. I've got my instructions here to show me the buttons. Let's see how it flies. You ready, Popeye? And, uh, and on the back of the quad, there's a little blue blinking light to tell me that we're recording, so that's super nice. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. All right, this, uh, it actually is helping really well. All right, Popeye. We'll let him calm down for a second. Good job, buddy, good boy. Okay, it flies really well, I like this. I like the size of it too because it is, it's very small, but it's not like uh, the smallest quad we've ever had. Back up, Nathan. I got it. Okay, now there's a funny little button called, uh, what was it, tail wiggle? Tail wagging. Tail wagging, and it's this button. So I'm gonna hit it here, three, two, one. I can't Let's see what button is this button. <laughs> I hit it. Oh, okay. I Whoa. think I know. It's super high y'all rates. Ah! <laughs> That's tail wagging. Isn't that funny? That's what they call tail wagging, but I like it. Wow. Okay, let's. Uh... What is with you and your altitude hey, today? It's, uh, it's actually. It kind of. You are making life hard. Yeah. Sorry. It's kind of a little, a little bit hard to fly there with uh, altitude, to be honest. That's why I said they may want to buy the altitude hole Possibly, yeah. Sometimes it's always no, easier. I mean, I can do it, but I'm, I'm trying to take my thumb off of the throttle to hit the tail wagging button. Now, there's y'all rates when uh, your tail wagging button is not hit. It's nice and slow. Nice and slow there. And then you hit tail wagging. And it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, you are it, impossible it doesn't increase, this is very interesting because it doesn't increase all the rates, just y'all rate. I really like that. That's all really right. cool. I'm going to ask you to do something, land it. Okay. And now I'm going to change lenses. He just, every time I, <laughs> look at him swimming. I think he likes the, the breeze off. So let's try to flip really fast while we're over here. Oh, very good. Try again. Nice flip. That was a great flip. We'll do another one. Ready, buddy? Back flip. Very fast and quick recovery. I like it. No altitude loss on the flips. You click the right stick and give it a direction. Very cool. Okay, so now I want to increase the rates. It's already pretty sensitive, but we'll. Oh, Popeye. Oh, Popeye. <laughs> You're crazy. You got it. What do you think, huh? You he got says, it. let's do it again. Go again. Maybe this time we'll cut my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you alright, buddy? He's, he's crazy. He's, he wants it bad. Now people are going to yell at us for playing with our dog uh, around. Hey, this Good one job, is a very safe one. <laughs> and I killed the throttle. Okay, so we're at a higher rate. Abby, I know uh, I want to try to zip it around some, okay? Are you still recording? Yes, I am. Here we go. Wow. Hello. Very, very zippy. I didn't know you were going that far. Yeah, I didn't know I was going that far either. <laughs> it's a lot zippier than I thought. That's a very fast rate. Okay, let's try another one here. It has even higher rates. Wow. I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't hurt when it hits you. <laughs> very, very fast. Okay, so. I actually hit my leg hard enough to move the arm, so we'll just pop it. <laughs> it kind of clicks in place. It's got little preset spots. So fly. Bye bye. Be good, buddy. You tell. You tell. Okay. All right. Good job, buddy. Flying inside, I highly encourage you to fly on the lowest rate. So we'll go back to that. And I do notice that the throttle is a little sensitive on this. You notice I'm doing a lot of up and down flying. When I find the sweet spot, it's okay. But until I'm in the sweet spot, it's very, very sensitive. But it's also punchy, as you see. I got a lot of kick if, if I need it to. It's kind of nice to have that power. And it's really got a lot of kick there. Which is probably why it's so good on those flips. Now, it does have a headless mode. I think we should try that. Oh, okay, and it's a little, a little messed up. Right now, it's completely opposite. So I want to take it out of that. It was very messed up, probably you from the crashing. And reset stuff. it. Okay. Well, I guess that requires turning off, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's okay. Here's what we'll do. I'll uh, save our video. 
Um, uh, by the way, there was little to no lag on the uh, on the FPV. I wasn't doing a lot of fly. It's kind of tight quarters in here, so I didn't do a lot of Wi-Fi flying. But there's very little lag on this. Very nice. So I'm going to turn everything off here. Throttle up. Throttle down. They have power. Popeye's ready. You ready? Okay, and we're going to try headless mode now. So let's take off. All right. Headless mode. The lights are blinking in headless mode. And it's actually working very, very nicely. That was a good idea to reset. Out. So I can keep it rotating like this and fly it. Now here's a good question. Let's try this. Let's go to crazy tail, you know, tail wagging mode, whatever. And uh, we'll see if it works with that. That'll be a true test of its headless mode. Pop on. Look how fast I'm spinning. Yeah, I'm still able to control this. That is, uh, that's pretty impressive. Now I, <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. That headless mode is working. This is a very, very functional quadcopter. It does a lot for the price. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Very cool. Let's take it out of the crazy thing in the headless mode. Now that I've got it all disoriented, I'm gonna fly it away from me and hit return to home and see if that works. It's a little off. It was flying towards Abby, so it was a little little off there. This is a uh, ready-to-fly unit Wi-Fi quadcopter with Wi-Fi FPV uh, that worked quite nicely for $36. Super cool. I mean, I just really, really like this thing. Is that close enough, Abby? <laughs> Maybe too close? Let me go back over here, sorry. How's that? A little better? Mm-hmm. Popeye seems to like it. It's fun to fly. It's not the easiest to fly quadcopter ever, but it's really, I mean, it's doing a lot of stuff. I think the hardest thing to control on this is, is probably the altitude. It's taken me a while to get used to it, but I've zeroed it in now, I think, pretty well. And uh, I'm really impressed with the battery life on this. I'm sure it's gonna give out any minute now, but a lot of fun to fly. Great little indoor quad. Super cool. I like how the arms fold up. Let's see here. I, I'm very, I'm, I'm interested to see something. Watch this. Can I, in fact, fold the arms one click in each so that they're all 90 degrees? Now all the arms are like 90 degrees. I want to see if it'll still fly. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, it does. That's really neat. <laughs> That's cool. So I just made the quad a little bit smaller by folding the arms in, and it still flies. That's cool. Oops, I'll come, I'll come back up. I like that. <clears throat> Papa, you almost got it, buddy. I like the little bouncy footies on the bottom of the quad, too. I, I'm, uh crazy impressed with the flight time of this. I did not think it would fly this long. Normally a quad of this size will fly about three or four minutes inside, especially if it has uh, Wi-Fi FPV, really close to like a three minute flight time. And everybody always asks what the charge time is. This took about a half hour to charge. So that's really great. It's really, really good. You know, the funny thing is we got this, we got this from a website that we don't normally shop from. We just, oh, there's the low light. Okay, great. Finish your sentence. Yeah, um, <laughs> we found it for such a good deal, we couldn't pass it up, so we picked it up. Again, it'll be linked in the description box below. Uh, we don't normally shop there a whole lot, but um, hey, we couldn't pass up this good deal. That's that's really nice. That's really a very nice quadcopter. Very cool. The, the lights start to blink pretty quickly when you have a low battery indicator, so when you see that, it's time to land. The reason for that is so you don't hurt your battery life over a long period of time. Uh, if you fly it for 30 more seconds or so now, you're, you're going to enjoy it for 30 more seconds, but I, I promise you, later down the road, you're going to have shorter flights and shorter flights if you keep pushing your battery, and it won't last very long. So I want to go ahead and turn that off. <clears throat> I'll turn this off. Again, there you have it. I'm, I'm very impressed. I really honestly am. That's very cool. The arms fold right up when you're done with it. Fun little quadcopter. I'm glad we got this out to play with this today. I like this. Um, if you also like it, 
check it out. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Good oh, job, Popeye. Folds up so small. That is so cool. Good job, Popeye. He's done. <clears throat> He's job, done. See, little quadcopter. Say bye, guys. <laughs> he is just staring at it hardcore. I mean, just hardcore. Too close for comfort.